American-born rapper who started to gain a lot of popularity in the middle of 2021 after the release of his mixtape 4L and his studio album Up To Me. He's had quite the cult following, but now in 2023, after the release of his newest album Afterlife, he's pretty much dominated the charts and sales with his release, which makes me think, let me try and make some of these beats. So today, I'm going to be challenging myself to learn as much as I can in 24 hours about Yeet's production. And by the end of the video, hopefully, I'll make a high enough standard Yeet type beat. Now, how this is going to go. Throughout this video, I'll be using all resources available to me, try and learn everything and anything I can possible, which means DMing producers that might have placements with Yeet, that's worked with Yeet, asking my Instagram followers for help. And of course, we're going to watch a few YouTube tutorials here and there. But first, I feel like we should start this video off by me just attempting to make a Yeet beat right now and then compare it to the end product at the end of the video. But don't get me wrong, I listened to Yeet. He was my most listened to artist last year. But in terms of producing these type of beats, I think I've made maybe three in my entire life. So let's just dive into it. All right, so anyone that has been watching me for a while, yes, we are at a new camera angle right now so right now we are literally just going to be going off of any knowledge that i already know of making new beats whether that's just through me listening to them one thing that i do know is people use a lot of serum so let's just go for something here Right, it's actually gonna sound nice. And then what if we repeat this, except for the next half, push it open up there. Once again, we're coming back into Serum one last time. We're grabbing an R and we're just going to start layering some of the sounds from the chord progression. We've actually just added in one more lead from Serum, but I feel like it's kind of clashing a little bit with the actual melody. So I feel like we need, we're going to need to throw some kind of like weird effect onto it. So we have in fact rendered out this melody and we've put on portal onto it. All right, first thing that comes to my mind when making yeet type beats for drums is definitely like that triplet kind of hi-hat pattern. Maybe a little layer of triplets as well actually. A lot of bounces there. arrangement I did some little reverse section in it okay this is a starting point but let's get better all right now it's time for the next step which is background research on yeet and yeet's producers i'm putting out a question on my instagram story and we're gonna come back to this and see what everyone has to say and we'll take that into accountability when making our next beat but what i'm gonna do right now is i'm gonna come onto his latest album and i'm gonna go through the credit section on each track and see the producers that are on each one bro bmyx is on this all over the place this guy must have produced like six tracks on the album we also have the likes of chase the money synthetic it even goes as far as a track actually being produced by yeet himself so what i'm actually going to do right now is i'm going to dm a bunch of these guys that are on this album and i'm going to ask them have they got any tips for me or some kind of advice when trying to make these beats i'm not looking for too much sauce here <laughs> bro if i don't get a single reply i'm gonna be pissed a few moments later all right i've just sent a bunch of dms while we're waiting on these I'm 
I'm gonna head to YouTube and I'm gonna see what tutorials I can try find. I mean, a video like this is pretty perfect. Each producer makes two insane beats and it's synthetic. I do be sound designing. Don't be afraid to like try yeah. editing your sounds, tweaking them a little mm -hmm. bit. How I learned how to sound design was really just taking existing presets and playing around with them. Most important thing to learn is A D S R. This is straight from one of Cody's videos. I will leave this linked in the description if you do want to watch the whole thing. Aggressive, synthy, craziness. Is that how you describe this? Yeah, just like robotic, just digital, Transformers music, really. Terminator shit. Decepticon music. Decept Autobots roll out. Digimon. Mm, mm, little Big Bear Clubhouse, you know? A little. <laughs> okay, I think I get the idea. While watching more and more of these tutorials, I began to feel more confident making some Yeet melodies, as I feel that that's probably the hardest part to this. And now I actually understand why you man actually watch my videos. That being said, I do feel like trying to cook up another beat while eventually waiting on my DM replies to see if anyone actually comes through with some more sauce for me. Let me try put all this YouTube tutorial stuff to the test. I'm gonna check out some of the responses from the question that I put out on Instagram. See if any of my followers can hit me up with some sauce. Synths and leads. Bells. Oh my god. Literally probably the most iconic thing for Yeet. And I forgot it. Maybe Cashy said there's so many different types of Yeet beats. That's also extremely true. Even if you listen through the new album, like it's got such a variety of beats. Even that crazy mid-tempo one called Nothing I Change, which is probably one of my favorites off the album. Someone said the use of multiple different 808s. That's also interesting. All right. I'm feeling kind of inspired after all that. I kind of want to cook up another beat. What I've got it the most from watching all these tutorials and stuff is that a lot of this does rely on some synths leads arps sequences and then kind of like manipulate it to your own likings and drill it's all about sound selection and how you manipulate the sounds and i feel like it's kind of the same way with these beats we're starting off in serum again and listen let me put you onto this bank it's by blast it's called dinox maybe that one go up they said leave a lot of gaps in your melodies don't you don't need to constantly put in melodies we're gonna we're gonna keep that aboard i need to go down man i'm such an idiot Now, next thing we want to try add in is some kind of ARP, but sometimes you want to actually just design your own ARP instead of just trying to find an ARP that's already in a VST. Ooh. Push it down a little bit. I feel like we can we can put some effects onto this to make it sound better. Ooh. Ew, that's nasty. And also, what if we try pitch this melody? Let's try pitch it up like another 400 cents. Yeah, something like this. Bro, how did I forget the bell again? Turn down a little bit, maybe. And if anyone can guess what I did to my tag, then you know what I did. Or you know who I'm copying, at least. We brought in a different 808 for this part. Okay, 
Okay, this one turned out pretty nice, I can't lie. All right, it's time to check these DMs. So I basically DM'd nearly every producer that was on Yeet's latest album, Afterlife. I basically hit them with the message that I'm doing this video and that I was just asking them for some kind of advice. Not too much sauce, but just some kind of advice to put me in the right direction. And I can't lie, we actually got some good replies. I uh, also kind of got some bad replies as well. We did in fact get a reply from the GOAT himself, Benny X. And yes, I do realize that I have been pronouncing his name wrong for the entire video. And he told us that his biggest tip is to make the 808 work. I mean, there you have it. We DM Chase the money and he actually replied too. And he said he doesn't really do shit like that. $8,000 or do you want to double it and give it to the next person? Um... Double it and give it to the next Double person. it. So, of course, DM'd Noah Nalu himself. She just make some vibey shit and don't do too much. And then he proceeded to try sell me his loop kit. <laughs> so, with all my knowledge, strength, and integrity that I have gained throughout this entire video, I feel like I'm finally ready to make my last beat. This is about to be a high-tier eat type beat. All right, yo, we're pre-edit right here. My camera died during this last beat. So, we are, in fact, switching to the good old webcam. Enjoy. that like fast paced arp. See, this, this chord here is like too happy or something. I feel like this is a solid bass. I feel like we're getting there somehow. Shaper box, shaper box, shaper box, where are you?
shit's so hard. This shit crazy, man. It's one of my favorite beats that I've made. I appreciate you for watching. Let me know what your favorite beat was in the comments. Run me up on Instagram and Twitch, because they're the only two things I care about. I'm out. Good luck to Bye.